Staying high on the wave is the most important thing you need to get right for your surfing. But let me explain why. Learning surfing in the early phases, there's so much to focus on. So let me help you out here. Being high in the wave is how we harness speed. This speed, simply put, is the only way we can travel at the wave speed, and so it allows us to stay on the face and do lots of other fun things. In my last edit of the Sunday Glide, I discussed some of this, but today I'm gonna to break down a full example of how we do this. Implement every step here and watch your surfing improve. To support the channel, please consider subscribing. This is tip time, now let's get into it. So the first step is engaging the tail. The first thing we learn when we pop up is that we bring our chest over our front foot for stability and we need to lean forwards to go fast. But wave positioning isn't what we're thinking about yet as we're just getting our balance in the white water. This means we stay low on the wave, shooting out fast in front of the white water and into the flats. This often translates to our wave face surfing, however, where we're caught too low and often behind the wave. To stop ourselves from racing out the front of the wave, we need to bottom turn, which means immediately stepping onto the tail from the takeoff. To engage the bottom turn though, we can't just step onto the tail, we also need to place the right amount of pressure or tilt on the rail and engage the turn. To practice this, practice popping up at the tail and bottom turning all the way off the wave. This means don't stop turning. As we arc up the wave, you'll eventually come high and off the wave. Once this feels natural, we move into phase two, which is catching the top third. This comes into play once we've committed our bottom turn and is used to break our bottom turn so we don't fade off the back of the wave. To do this, once we're at the midpoint of the wave, we need to start shifting our weight forwards. And we do this by placing our chest over our front foot. For more experienced longboard surfers, you can begin to cross step at this point as well. The aim being to bring your weight forwards to press the accelerator in the direction the board's facing. By this point, we'll be in the correct higher position of the wave, the top half, where all of our acceleration comes from. Now, if we try and move our body weight forwards as we're at the top of the wave, it'll probably be too late and we might lose the wave. So we've got to do this early. The third and final step here is staying high. Naturally, as our weight comes forwards, as in step two, we put on the accelerator and we'll be aiming down the wave a little. This is after all something that builds our speed, heading down the wave face. But if we don't stop this, we'll end up in the flats again and we won't have solved for much. So once we reach the midpoint of the wave, we need to engage the inside rail of the board. This will hug our board and inside rail into the wave and begin to slowly rise it up the wave again. As we're not necessarily going to be on the tail of the board, the turn's not gonna be anything drastic, but it's gonna be just enough to bring us from the bottom to the top of the wave and into the perfect point of trim. As the wave is moving, we may need to mediate our weight from centrally over the front foot for speed and acceleration and the inside rail to lift us up the wave face a little if we're trending past the halfway point towards the flats. 